The Skateboard Watchtower Movie Review is brought to you by... Watchtower Movie Review, movie. brought to you by Game, the Game Store in Moore and Marion, North Carolina. The Game Store in Marion, North Carolina. <sighs> ah, this ain't I'll Be Your Huckleberry, but it's got the same character in it. Yeah, yeah, it does. It does. And it is. And actually, they were released the same year. Almost, all about the same year, but they were released around that same time frame with the couple of five, yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have done Tombstone. Yeah, we have done And Tombstone. today we are doing Why Earth. Earth. The man, the myth, the legend. And and we've already gone through all this stuff with the accuracy as far as between what happened, what didn't happen. And this is basically more of a depiction of his whole life than in Tombstone was basically about Tombstone. This goes from for, during the Civil War where he tried to run off. Yeah. Of course, Gene Hackman played his dad, and Gene—I mean, yeah, yeah Kevin yeah. Costner playing Water as as Dolan yeah. Water, and then you got Dennis Quaid playing yeah. Doc Holliday. Doc Holliday. You got Gene Hackman playing his dad. You got yeah. Isabel Rossellini yeah. playing as uh, Big Nose Kate. You got Dennis Quaid playing as, of course, Doc Holliday, and then you have got Bat Masterson, and you got Ed Masterson. I mean, uh, I mean, I mean, all these guys. Or, or Bill Pullman plays Ed. Yeah, uh, and he does an amazing job as Ed. Yeah, and then uh, Bats played by, I cannot think of what his name is now. Uh, uh, Saving Private Ryan, played in Saving Private yeah, Ryan. Uh, but anyways, not to drag this out long, but I'm going to tell you, it, this it's a great movie. This was a great movie. For simple fact, where Tombstone was centered around Tombstone and the, the, the actual gunfight at yeah. OK Corral. This actually is a lie. Basically, the life of a white art from where he goes up and gets married, loses his. I wish stuff. they would have titled this "The Life and Times of White Earp. Because oh, no, White Earp is pretty good. I mean, I just well, just in the sense of that was a book that was released called "The Life and Times of White Earp a long time and actually, ago. Actually, I think they actually mentioned that here uh, in credit that this should have just been released "Life and Times of White Earp. Which but they couldn't do that because that's probably still got a copyright on it. Yeah, yeah, copyright, yeah. But, so. but that's fine. But at but the same time, at the same time, like I said, this movie is a, this movie right here is was long. Even in the theaters, when you go watch it, they had to have an intermission. Yeah, and that was the first time I ever went to a movie where I had to go and sit and watch it and have an intermission in between. So it's a two D two DVD disc set. Yeah, and so uh, well, think about it once again. It's based on the law, pretty much the high points of his, of, life. Of his life. And and I got to say, it was a great uh, a great movie. Kevin Costner did an excellent job playing White Earp. Yes, yes. Uh, Madison played uh, Virgil. Um, I can't think of the other guy's name, but I'm not going to get into that. You, know, you can go watch who I was in, but it's got an all-star cast yes, that plays into yes. it. Um, and one thing I gotta say about this movie, man, I mean, I love Tombstone. Yes. Uh like I said again, Tombstone was its own version. But Wide Earth in itself is its own version and the fact that it tells the story from uh from childhood to more different angles. Right. Because there's so many angles that's that's when you hear about what happened here yeah. and then 
you know, it's just like anything else. You know, you got everybody's version of what happened. Yes. And sometimes you know what's one. So, Kurt Russell and the guys picked out the one for Tombstone from one version. These guys picked it out and played it from another version. version. And, and it's it okay. worked out well. Yes. Because you got, cause now you got, because there's more versions out there of what, is what supposedly yeah. happened. Yeah. Well, again, you know, we had the problem, I mean, when we talked about Tombstone with Johnny and Ringo. Yes. Most being the thing between Johnny and Ringo and this, and you know, um, can't think of his name as well. Doc Holliday. Doc shooting, Holliday shooting Johnny Ringo. We know Johnny and Ringo was never Ringo. shot by Doc Holliday. Holliday, and then again, there that's one thing that they put it as. And, and but like I said, not to dwell on all that stuff. There are inaccuracies, yeah. but at the same time, the accuracy it, exactly the accuracy almost, is perfect. Almost, yeah, good. almost as good. And like I said. It's entertainment, and a lot of it was theatrical license. So yeah. I mean, well, yeah, you got your well, uh, creative, creative you license. You got your creative uh, license for creativity to change stuff up for a little bit. And one thing I say about with, with both movies, a lot of stuff wasn't yeah, wasn't well, changed. You, up. you it, get to see it, a little it, bit more issues it's based on all on, sides. But here it, with this one, you got to see the more personal side, side. of between. And you got to see the the, the two love interests. You know I mean. He had a wife. Well, he wasn't actually married. He's called a common law. She just moved in with him. She took his name. Yeah, yeah. And he explains all that in the movie. Um, and then when he actually does fall in love with with Josephine, it shows that everything that happened with that whole yeah between movie. and it shows the relationship between her and Johnny B. Hinn. It shows the relationship between her and Wyatt and and all that. So it's flushed out more in this than it was in Tombstone. Yeah. But like I said, it's a it's great movie. Common. Mark Harmon, of course, played as, as Behan, Chuck yeah. Behan, and he played uh, a good part in that. Yeah. And with with Behan, and of course, we know there was a rivalry between Behan and, and Wyatt and, and Earth. Because if you go study that, you find it was out politics. That it was, it was a, politics. It was yeah. It was uh, uh, Behan actually betrayed Wyatt in the election. He said, "Look, if you support me, man, I'll make sure you get to." And then when that happened, Behan didn't keep up to his word. No. There's a whole whole history that's not even mentioned in yeah. any of these movies between Big right, right, and, right. and, and, uh, and and Earps. And again, it may have come down to be a, a you had two newspapers there. One was a, a Republican-based newspaper. One was a Democrat-based newspaper. The the Earps backed the Republican guys and um, the uh, Clantons and then was back in the, the Democrat side. So, so yeah, yeah, you, I mean, you had, had a political had, battle yeah, that was there. So, yeah. so that goes to show how far how back the political sides went. Uh, so it was showing some interesting stuff. A lot of he, U.S. history yes. is, is, is actually showing this movie if you pay some good attention to it. Yeah. But my, my thing is, on, on my question to you, hmm. did this explain some things about why that you didn't know? When I first saw it, I had seen Tombstone prior, and I saw this, and I'm like, okay, this answers some questions of things prior to Tombstone, and I liked it. I liked the fact that it does show he was kind of a broken man, even at an early age, you know, when he lost his first wife, and lost his child as well, too, and it shows him as a man. Not as this well, it's not the legend. Yeah, it's the, the man that actually was there. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's what I like about. And that's what I liked about Tombstone too, because Russell. I mean, Kurt Russell actually really showed him as a man as well too. It wasn't just him a straight laced woman. No, he had well, faults. You didn't, to me, you didn't get. I mean, because there's always that legend. You're wider. Yeah. You know, and so many movies were just based on the legend. Yeah. You never got to actually understand the man. Exactly. And in this one, he shows more of that. This is what the man was. This is what leads up to exactly. the legend. And even when he, he went through this dark period of his life where, I mean, he wasn't above cheating in a card game. He was not above shooting somebody for slandering him. But he never he, did. He never did. He, he might have uh, classically Wyatt pistol whipped him where he was. And that's what he was well, famous for. He was... He, he, he was Famous. He beat up some people. Yeah. He was famous he was for taking famous for the, 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 people, the barrel yeah. of his gun and knocking it over somebody's skull. And yeah. I mean, that's more gentlemanly than just blowing his brains out. I mean, yeah, well, people didn't like it though. 
But um, days, yeah. but anyways, like I said, this shows more Wyatt the man. Yeah, and that's what I, I got to say about saying. It showed more, you get to see more of, of him. And Kurt, uh, I mean, uh, Kevin Kurt. Costner. Kevin Costner showed him from one of the, the younger, probably from his 19, age 19, where he was a teamster, mm-hmm. all the way up to, you know, where he's our, he's married to, um, oh, I can't think of her name now. I just lost it. Uh, uh, Maddie. No, uh, not Maddie, but um, his first wife. Just no, know. no, the, the last wife is there. Uh, Josephine. Josephine. Oh. It's all like Josephine showing where she meets the. Um, she because she asked Wyatt about in the beginning about this uh, thing where she heard a story about him protecting stuff, yeah. and he's like, "Well, it's just a story." But in the end, you get to find out from thing from that whole story. Now, did that part take place in reality? I don't know. Or was exactly. That, I mean, we don't know that. I, but it's, it's thing, but it, it does show what happened with some of the stories that we've already heard that actually did happen. Mm-hmm. But we don't know if it actually took place while he was on a boat in Alaska with his wife. Right, 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 right. But um, uh, anyways, Tommy behind the news uh, uh, was known. It is written. He is written as that part of it did take place. So and they pretty much said, yeah, this this did take place. All right, five stars so, for entertainment. Um. Yeah, five stars for entertainment. I'm gonna give it a five because it's very entertaining. It's long. It's long. That's I'm the gonna thing. say that. Don't think I didn't love it, but again, a lot of good stories are long. I mean, like you long. watch Lawrence of Arabia, you watch uh, Longest Day, or anything. Yeah, we're, we weren't used to this back then. I mean, back then it was a you know nightmare. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I grew up with some long Kevin films. Kevin Costner. So, I mean, Kevin yes. Costner started doing these long movies. And I mean, even Ten Commandments uh, and Ben Hur was what uh, three so, hours. I mean, I'll, uh, um, but then uh, yeah, so it was the first time I went to the movie theater and had to get up and take a break because of intermission. Yeah, it was um, wonderful. But, okay, so I give it a five as well because the entertainment is very, very well. All right, and... So, um, as far as accuracy, accuracy, like I said, the only thing I can see is the worst... 4.5. Book, I'm giving it a 4.5. We do know yeah, that Johnny yeah. Ringo yeah, and yeah, Doc Claudette yeah. never... They're, 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 they're just... There are uh, things in it that just got changed. Yeah, so... But, um... Well, 4.5, I will give them... 4.5. Uh, now, as far as popcorn value... I'm going to give it a 10. I'm going to give it a 10. You're a 10, and I'm giving it as a 10 as well because, like I say, it's very uh, And, and well that's the thing. Like, as a kid, this harkens back to a dream I had when I was a kid. I always wanted to make a Western movie. Like, I always had a dream when you were a kid. But, like I said, I always wanted to do a Western when I was a kid. And, I mean, that's the thing. I mean, I love monster films. I love those kind of films and stuff like that. I also love Westerns as well, too. And I got to play a cowboy. Yeah. Uh, and... and and have gunfights at a, a little amusement park. Uh, so I Ghost Town? Uh, Ghost Town? No, Ghost Town. I ain't going to say that because I don't want to play. I'm not going to, because I'm not advertising for them. Uh, um, but I got to do that for, for a little bit, and I enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. And it was fun. Mm-hmm. And there's a place where we're going to go to. Hopefully, look at we can see we, we do have a Western that we're working on right now. And, uh, uh, for the, the county, but I'm not going to say where it's yeah. at. We got to get in and, and talk to them. But we will but both. It is a it. western, <laughs> and we both will be in it. Yes, we are. <laughs> it is going to be a good one. And uh, if I don't say so myself, so wider, go get it. If you don't have a copy, go grab a copy at Game Store, the Game Store, more in Mary, the North, the Game Store, Store more Mary. in Mary, North Carolina. Go watch it, love it, live it. Have a good time. And see what you think. Like I said, check it out. Then go look up your history. You got Google. You got internet. Go look up the history. Make up your mind what you think actually happened. Exactly. Who side would you be on? And, and as Doc Brown says in Back to the Future, your future is whatever you make of it. Whatever you make of it. So make it a good one. Hum. <laughs> hum. Okay. I make my own future. That's it. So, for myself, Del McCoy and Nick Revis. That's Revis. Nick, one each. N I C K R I V I S. Nick Revis. Okay. Ah, uh-huh. Love, peace, and chicken grease. We're out of here. here.